welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Views brought to you by HollywoodPhoto.com. I'm Eric and today I'm talking to you about this guy. This is the Child Star uh, Sound Bar Bluetooth Wireless Sound Bar. Uh, great speaker slash sound bar. Uh, a lot of different companies are making sound bars these days as opposed to just your standard speaker which might be mm, about that size. Uh, now they're are more companies making these soundbar speakers, which generally speaking in the old school train of thought you would think of a soundbar as being specifically for use with your TV and you could use this with a TV um, but this is basically just a bigger, longer, wider, uh, more speakers inside there and you can kind of see more speaker uh, speaker. So you can use it for music uh, as well as using it for your TV if you want. Um, this one is from Child Star. Uh, it does come in different finishes. There's one that's all black and this one has the wood finish as you see here. Um, besides this, it does come with this cool uh, carrying case. It has a little strap so if you're going somewhere and you want to take it with you, they make it very easy for you, uh, which is nice. And then this is kind of a cool feature. It comes with a remote control. So you can control this by remote and because if this is connected to your phone or your tablet through Bluetooth, because Bluetooth uh, also uses controls, that means you can control the music you're listening to kind of th with this remote. So if you've got like previous, next, pause, and those all will work um, in conjunction with this speaker connected to your phone or your tablet. So that's kind of cool as well. Um, first, I want to just talk a little bit about uh, the design and the features itself. You can see right now uh, that it's a long, uh, speaker bar, sound bar with a lot of different tweeters inside there. You can kind of see those. Um, has a light here that lights up to let you know that it's got power. Um, on the top here you have controls for uh, previous track, next track. Uh, also controls your sound volume, long press for increase or decrease sound. You have a button here that changes through the different modes and I'll tell you about those in a minute. And then you have the button here which is play and pause or to answer a call or hang up a call. Now the reason you have different modes is because on the back here you have this flap that covers everything. But if you open that flap you'll see you have the on off button. You have your micro USB port which is what you use to charge the device. This is rechargeable. It doesn't, you don't keep it plugged in. You charge it up and it lasts a really long time. Uh, then you have your standard USB uh, port which you can plug like a thumb drive with uh, mp3 files on it if you just want to listen to music off a uh, thumb drive or a micro SD card slot and I have a card in there right now uh, with tons of mp3s on it so you can just listen to music off of that um, and then an auxiliary jack in case you want to plug something in through auxiliary if you're using this with a TV that is what you'd want to do you would want to go uh, the dual RCA cable to single uh, auxiliary uh, to plug in there um, so that you have perfect sync with the sound. Uh, and it's all nicely hidden behind the flap. Uh, so that's what comes with it. Oh, also I should tell you on the bottom, nice little rubber feet. And uh, those are great. Keep, make sure it stays in place. Now um, I used this on 4th of July. We have a block party uh, in our neighborhood. And we had some friends over and I just stuck this up on the railing uh, that's on our porch. And because it has those nice rubber feet, it stayed in place. And then we were down in the yard underneath some easy ups. And we were playing music first from uh, an iPhone and then from my Android phone through Bluetooth. And what was cool was being able to control it with this remote, turn the volume up or down. Or if, you know, we were using mostly like a random play mix list and occasionally someone would come on I didn't want to hear, I could just use this little skip button and it would send the signal to the phone to skip that track and go to the next track. Um, which was kind of cool. And we had this going, I want to say we were out there about, um, from the time I put this up, it was probably about 9 hours, 9 to 10 hours, and it was still going strong, had plenty of battery power. So uh, that's really nice, really nice long battery that'll last you plenty of time and plenty of volume. Again, we had this back up on my porch and anywhere in the yard and beyond the yard, you could hear it, and it wasn't even at the loudest volume. So a lot of a lot of uh, sound and good quality sound that comes um, from this device. Um, now the remote does have uh, all the buttons you need here. 
The power on and off will only work if the physical button on the back of here is turned on. That has to be on for it to get any power. If that's on, then you can turn it uh, on or off passively through this power button. Uh, it also has a mute button, volume up, volume down, next track, play pause, as well as selecting the different modes, auxiliary or micro SD card, etc, etc. This is a thin little remote. Um, it's not the best remote in the world, uh, to be honest. Sometimes I'll press a button and nothing will happen, and I'll have to press it again, and sometimes I'll have to press it just once, sometimes I'll have to press it two or three times. Um, most of the time it works pretty well, but occasionally it does have that little flicker, uh, uh, little uh, glitch, and I think it's just because it's a really kind of cheap remote. What I'm probably going to do, I have a universal remote that can learn from other IR devices, so I'm probably going to have it learn all these so that I can use that remote because it's a better remote. But it does work, just every now and again you have to press the button more than once, and I think that's important to note. Um, I want to let you hear this because I know you'll probably want to. Um, the disclaimer I give anytime I do this, it's really hard because, I mean, this is playing and then it's being taken in through the microphone on my camera and then I'm editing the video and then it's being played through YouTube and then your speakers are playing it so there's like 20 you know there's so many different things you're, you're, there's no way for you to actually hear the sound quality of it um, on a video like this but I know people always want to hear it and if I don't do it they'll get mad at me for not at least trying so let's jump over to video I'm gonna show you kind of the remote in action as well as let you listen and hear uh, what music sounds like coming through the soundbar. So I'm going to demo the soundbar for you. It is turned, the physical button on the back is turned on. That has to be on in order to then turn it off and on with the uh, remote control. Um, but you can control it with the remote control. And I will say this is a very cheap remote control. Um, it does not work 100% of the time, meaning sometimes I'll push the button and nothing will happen and I'll have to push it again or push it again. So uh, that could be a little bit frustrating, but overall it does work. Um, and it's, you, generally speaking, I guess you're not using the remote a lot. You're gonna get to the sound level you want. You're gonna get a playlist you want. And uh, But if you just, a song comes on and you don't like, you can use the remote to skip the song, or you can use it to adjust the volume. There are also physical buttons, of course, on the top that you can use to do that. But to power it on, uh, I'm gonna use the uh, remote to power it on power button there and you see the light comes on it makes the first tone and lets you know that it's powered on that second tone lets you know it has connected to the last Bluetooth device that it was connected to in this case it's my phone so I can control and the play and uh, stuff so now it's going to be playing music from my phone and uh, you can control volume and turn it up Pretty loud, gets pretty loud. Next try. Next try. Next try. Play and pause using the remote. Volume the down. You can mute it. Which I don't know why you would mute and not just pause, but you can do that if you want to. So here's a different kind of music. Oh Lord, you don't want to hear that song. That's a stupid Ver Verizon Samsung thingy. Um, so you can also switch the mode, so I can switch to the SD card. Now I've switched to my micro SD card that's installed. I'm going to turn the volume up really loud. I'm going to go back and replay that one. Pretty loud. I'm gonna turn the volume down there some. So the volume's pretty low now. Let's go to another track. Pause. 
was even when you're using the SD card you can use the SD or the USB slot with the thumb drive also the auxiliary you can uh, uh, plug something in of course you wouldn't be able to control the playing of anything that's plugged into auxiliary but through Bluetooth you can on my phone as you saw and you can choose any of these modes or you can just press the mode button to switch through them the FM I don't recommend that I, I can never get FM radio to work well on any of these type of speakers I don't use that anyway I play music either from my phone or through a SD card so you use that but uh, yeah it has good sound gets really loud uh, definitely uh, can fill up a room or a large space like I said it uh, outdoors uh, for 4th of July in the front yard is how we used it and uh, worked great for that okay so hopefully that gave you at least a good idea of how cool this is how well it works like I said it's it's just a Bluetooth speaker really but the difference is you've got uh, a lot more actual uh, speakers, tweeters uh, built in here and you really get good sound, great excellent sound uh, gets plenty loud enough, big battery that will last you a really long time so a lot of cool things there. Now one other feature is that this you can use this kind of as a speaker so let me jump over to a video where I can demo that for you. So you can use this for uh, as a speakerphone as well um, the mic on here is not great this is not why you would buy a sound bar like this uh, this is for listening to music, this is for using for sound, but it does have a speakerphone, um, so you can use it uh, as that. The, the mic on here is not like a very great array mic. Um, the person on the other end should be able to hear you, uh, but it may be a little bit staticky for them. It's not going to be as clear as if you were using your phone. You can hear them pretty doggone clear, but them hearing you, uh, it's just the mic on here isn't the best. But... Uh, I've tried, my test is always calling Verizon and then giving them voice commands uh, and with a really good mic they hear the voice command with no problem. With this mic, sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't, um, but you can just tell that you Welcome can. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. This call may be recorded. To assist you, please say the reason for your call today. Technical support. I didn't get that. Please See. say the reason now. Or you can press 1 for balance and usage, 2 Tech to make support, a payment, please. or 3 for technical support. Make a payment. To speak to a representative, press 0, or to end this call, just hang up. So you can press that button to hang up, and you can see, sometimes when I've done it, she could understand me, sometimes she can't. Um, but I also tested it. Uh, listening to someone talk over it, and I could hear them and I could understand them. It's just uh, automation understanding. It has to be very clear and it's not crystal clear, um, but it's good enough that you could carry on a conversation if you had to, um, but I would not buy this for that purpose. I, the reason I have this, what I use it for, what I think it's awesome for, is just great sound for music and stuff. But you do have that option to use it for the phone call. If you got a phone call while you were using it, you could answer it and you could, uh, you know, you could have a small conversation if you had to. So you can see, I would not recommend buying this for the purpose of using it as a speakerphone. There are other things that are better than this, and this is obviously overkill for a speakerphone. It's more of a kind of just an extra little bonus. You're using this as a sound bar, or you're listening to music through Bluetooth, and you get a call. You could take the call through this, and it would work for that. Um, but uh, the mic in this isn't really like some excellent, awesome mic for that purpose. Uh, it'll do, but not something you'd want to be using as a speakerphone on a regular basis. Again, not really the point of this. This is a sound bar. This is meant for um, awesome sound for music and, or TV shows, things like that. Um, and it does a good job of that. It has a pretty decent bass. Obviously, it doesn't going to give you the same kind of bass as a, a subwoofer, dedicated subwoofer, or a speaker that has, you know, uh, better uh, woofer properties to it. This I would say is, is moderately good. Uh, it's not like the best bass ever. It's not really for that. So just be aware of that. But as far as just overall sound quality, sounds great. Um, it's, it's priced fairly well for what it is, for the amount of the type of sound you get. And uh, I mean for parties and stuff, this is going to be awesome to use uh, both around the pool 
and uh, things like block parties and things like that for the front yard, uh, you're going to get plenty of sound. Anyway, um, again, you get the speaker, the remote, and the cool carrying case. It's from Child Star. It is available on Amazon, and I'll have a link in the description below. You can click to jump over to Amazon, read what other people who bought the product have said about it, and uh, if it is ends up being something that's going to be good for you, pick one up for yourself. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in a product like this, someone especially maybe who's looking for a really good uh, rechargeable portable uh, Bluetooth speaker or a speaker they can throw a micro SD card, card or a thumb drive onto and listen to their own music, then uh, share this video with them. Uh, you can do that through any of the links below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or favorite this playlist to keep up with future product reviews. Anyway, that is going to be it until next time, so have a great day.